Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a dual access bar chart using RStudio with ArtKernel 4.2, but this probably also works with some of the earlier versions, and using ggplot2. I have a separate video on if you don't want to use ggplot, um, this is a video where I'm going to show you how you can create it with ggplot. Um, to uh, load some data in, to have as an example, um, I'm going to use the foreign library to read CSV files and I get the general social survey 2012 adjusted by myself a little bit for purposes of example, uh, which is a data set with apparently almost 2000 cases and 706 variables. We don't need all of them, I only actually need my accounting is scientific field and um, my data is then therefore the one of the data frame or the the data itself and then that particular field so let's load those, those two in um, and this is all for actually creating the um, the one without uh, using ggplot so I'm going to scroll down to where I'm start using um, ggplot it does require the frequency so sorry about that let's go quickly back up frequencies are just a table of my data and that should give us also a first impression where we can see that there's uh, th about 300 for both not scientific at all and not too scientific and between 100 for very scientific and 200 almost for pretty scientific all right um, if you've loaded uh, for uh, ggplot2 we create a data frame out of this which is uh, just by converting using data.frame and then I can add the cumulative sums uh, of those frequencies which basically should just be keep on adding up so 307 plus 348 will give you 655 655 plus 199 will be 854 plus 100 will be 954 I want these as percentages, so I divide them by the sum of all the frequencies and multiply it by 100, so it looks like a value between 0 and 100. And here we go. Alright, then if you've never used ggplot before, you probably want to run install packages ggplot2. Um, I've already installed this package, oh, um, uh, so I only need to load it using library ggplot2. Right then the bar chart using ggplot, uh, it's going to be about my data frame, uh, x is going to be the accounting scientific, uh, the heights are going to be the frequencies, and I'm just using a nice blue color to show the bars. Alright, so here's the bar chart. Now we have the line chart, uh, which is similar, again the accounting scientific, y are my cumulative percentages, and the uh, group equals one here indicates that I want to actually connect all the dots. So this should give me a line chart with uh, the cumulative percentages. Um, so now we actually want to get both of these in one graph. Uh, for that, I need to convert the scale a little bit on the right hand side, which is going to be 100 because I had 100 as a maximum uh, divided over my maximum of frequencies and that's going to be my scale to on the right hand side. Now I can finally combine the two of them so as you might notice for my um, cumulative percent I simply divide each percentage by that value that I need to scale my uh, data by and I do the same here again. The rest is basically the same uh, I'm just saying here that I want them both in one and also add the names. All right, and this should give us that nice looking, um, yeah, dual axis bar chart. I can zoom in just to show you it slightly better. All right, um, of course, there's plenty that could be done additionally here, but I hope this gave a good first impression on how you can create a chart like this. All right, thank you for watching, and see you. Uh, and let me know if you have any comments in the discussion below.